Hey everybody, <laughs> let's talk about it. Sanchez, South Texas. That's where I'm at today. That's where I went to last night from West Texas. So they called me up and said, Look, we don't have any loads in West Texas right now. Wells are down, they're being moved. I'm like, All right. What do you got? He said, we got, uh, we got 10 loads coming out of Boca to go to South Texas, Sanchez. Pays your percentage of $1,000. I'm like, all right. Well, better than doing nothing. He said, give it to me. So they sent it to me. All right, picked up a load, 220 miles, go to deliver it, 260 something miles to the gate, the guard gate for the Frisco Range. Then it was seven and a half miles or so to another guard gate. gate to the second gate took about 45 minutes. Dirt road. Same dirt road I'm on now. Nice. The second nine and a half miles took about 45 minutes. speed limit was 15 miles an hour. They raised it to 25. Ooh, great. But it's not a 25 mile an hour road. It is if you don't care about your truck. And probably most drivers don't. It's a company truck. Why would they care? But I care, and I'll tell you why. It's not my truck. It is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar piece of equipment, though, that they have entrusted to me to drive safely amongst the motoring public on the highways and the byways of this great country. Now, just because I'm out here on a ranch road doesn't really give me the right to tear up this brand new $150,000 piece of equipment. Now other drivers might disagree but this is why they're wrong. First of all it's not your truck so you need to treat it like you would want somebody to treat your $150,000 piece of equipment respect. And here's the other reason. Being a mechanic in my former life, one of my former lives, I know what these roads do to heavy duty trucks. You talk to any owner operator, you talk to any mechanic, they'll tell you these roads will tear these trucks up. And guess what happens when they get tore up? Tore up they need to get fixed and they will get fixed now where and when they get fixed not going to be really your choice they're going to get fixed when they break down or when they fail an inspection now when would they fail an inspection during an inspection will you get placed out of service sure you can get, be placed out of service then what? Oh, you mean a wrecker has to come get you? Or they have to send a mobile mechanic out? More likely they send a wrecker to take your ass to the dealer. Hmm. Dealerships. Dealerships are first come, first serve. So, you're going to be last in line when you get there. 
Now it have kingpins replaced, pitman arms, ball joints, bushings. That can take a week. That's where you sit. In a motel room, you know, you're not outside. They don't put you on the curb. Put you in a motel room. You know how much you make? $75 a day in breakdown pay. How long are you going to sit there? You're going to sit there until that truck is done. So is it worth it to drive like a maniac on these roads? I don't think so. So I don't. It might take me two hours to get out of here. I'm going 10 miles an hour. I treat this truck like it's mine. Like I own it drive on these roads like this, you'll tear them up, man. You'll tear up your tires, tear up your suspension, you'll tear up everything. And you know what the funny part about this is? Is that even though this dirt, bumpy, pothole, cattle all over the place, I came in last night, there were cows, brown, dark brown cloud, cows, sleeping right in the road. You know what happens if you hit a cow? Oh, you're fired, dude. That, that rancher's going to flip out and charge the company $100,000 for that cow. And they're going to fire you for hitting a cow on a dirt road where you're supposed to be going, well, 25 miles an hour. But you shouldn't be going more than 10. Cows everywhere. Standing right on the side of the road. You can't even see them until you're right there. One of them just walked out in front of you. You hit that cow. And you can't just drive away from that. They're damaged. Cows are big and heavy. But still, the insane thing is, is drivers keep getting busted for drive for speeding on this lease road. And the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. It's insane, dude. If I was this company, I don't know. I would make the speed limit 10 miles an hour and save the tens of thousands of dollars in repair costs it's going to cost them for every truck that runs on this road. <sighs> Luckily for me, I had some coffee left over in my coffee cup. I heated up in my microwave. Or this would be a really long trip. So yeah. It's... What it is, man, in South Texas. These Sanchez wells are all on ranches. I think this is probably the longest dirt road I've been on. This is, I think it's the longest it's ever taken me. Maybe one other well would had a real long well, road. But, you know, not like this. This one's pretty long. Then you gotta go through two guard gates. First guard gate, you show your ID. You gotta show your driver's license. He writes down your truck number, all your stuff, license plate number. You sign, you go away, you go in. The second guard gate, the guy had a tablet. You still gotta show him your driver's license. And he puts on tablet, all the information on your tablet, like driver, like license plate number, uh, make and model of the truck, uh, your name probably off your driver's license. You don't have to sign anything because it's on a tablet. So. It's just crazy, man. These roads are just, it's just crazy out here. So, I don't know what that does for how many loads you can do a day. This kind of kills it. You can spend two hours getting in here and two hours getting out. That's four hours of your day right, right there. guy's going to go hauling ass by me. Yep, later. Yep, there he goes. Another speedster. 25 miles an hour. Still getting tickets. Oh well. Let's see, what else was there? So, 
hopefully I get back to West Texas. They said the wells will be up and running on uh, Friday. Jeez. Tuesday. I got like nine hours and 40 minutes left on my 70. Uh, I'm going to go take a 24 hour break truck stop. Hopefully when it, when my break is over, the well will be back up. The war of the wells or whatever. But this is insane. I'm not staying down here in South Texas. Didn't want to come down here. And I'm not staying. You know, that's the one thing about the company. You, you know, if you push hard enough, they'll, they'll put you, you know, somewhere else. Or if you don't push hard enough, they'll put you somewhere else. So, you just gotta, gotta use common sense, man. And respect other people's equipment, these guys, I, it's terrible, man, I don't know, uh, I don't know what, you know, some of these drivers say, out here just tearing up these nice trucks, because they think, you know, it doesn't matter, it does matter when they're broke down, and they're sitting for a week, but, you know, they probably won't even think about it then, I don't know, I don't know, it's just stupid. But, you know, to each his own, I guess. I just don't, I just don't operate that way. That's not my program, man. I, you know. Oh, here we go. Here's a cow right here. Moo! See that, bug? That, nice, right? Oh, hold on. Here's a hole. Ugh! Right? Yeah, cattle crossing. Not really. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and they have the right of way too, by the way. In fact, uh, they're probably valued it more than, than you are on this ranch. All right, well, I don't have any internet service out here. So I'll get this thing downloaded uh, when I get back to civilization. It should be in a couple hours before I hit pavement. All right. Be safe out there. Like and subscribe. Or don't like and still subscribe. <laughs> All right. Peace out.